Hey girl, so let's talk. I know you can probably tell by the sound of my voice that I am congested and nasally. I have a sinus infection that I'm just now getting over. Hopefully it'll be gone by the weekend so that I can travel home without any issues. But yeah, I feel so much better than I did a few days ago. And I sound better too, believe it or not. We're talking about pregnancy today. We're talking about my pregnancy and what's going on. Um, first trimester things, okay? So yeah, if you watched the last video, then you know that I'm currently pregnant. I have a big old belly. Me and my husband were not actively trying to get pregnant. We just decided that we weren't going to do anything to hinder it, I guess. We weren't doing anything to protect ourselves from pregnancy because it's like if it happens, it happens. Well, from the day that we made that decision, it was like last year, July sometime, after a certain period of time when we were just doing what we do and I wasn't getting pregnant, it kind of started to, to wear on my mind because I have an irregular cycle. My cycle would come like a week late. Some days, sometimes it'll be like eight days late. Sometimes it'll be right on schedule. It just, it does what it wants to do. So imagine the stress that I was feeling every single time that my cycle was late and I felt like I needed to take a test because it was late because I just need to know if I was pregnant or not. And every time that I did it, my test would say it was negative and then my spirit would dampen every single time, every single time. So while my husband was just like, whatever, it'll happen when it happens, I was like, okay, maybe something's wrong with me because it's not happening yet. And then lo and behold, when the, the month after I decided that I was not gonna worry about it no more, I was like, you know, whatever, I'm just gonna live my life, have fun, do all the things that I wanna do. And if it happens, it happens. Lo and behold, the next month, boom, pregnant. I didn't even plan on taking the test. I had just got my puppy. And I was like, I'm gonna get this dog because clearly we're not having no kids right now. And I need something to occupy me. Well, I got my puppy. My period it was late. It was like maybe two days late, which is, I'm not worried about two days. So two days, I'm not worried. I'm like, oh, she'll come up. She'll come if she wants to. So I woke up one morning, my best friend had texted me and she's like, what did she say exactly? I think she said, um, she said, that was, it was a Wednesday morning. She texted me and said, good morning. I had a dream you were pregnant. And I was like, well, maybe that good news will come soon, but until then, here's my baby. And I sent her a picture of my puppy. <laughs> After she sent me that, I was thinking about it. I'm like, okay, she having dreams. Sunday morning, and I always had, I always had pregnancy tests in my bathroom because we were trying, but not actively trying. But in my mind, I'm like, okay, I got a test, I got a test, I got a test. So I always had pregnancy tests in my bathroom. So I was like, Sunday morning I got up and I was like, you know, I'm just gonna take a test for shits and giggles and see what happens. Well, <laughs> I took the test and I just said, I put it on the counter and I walked out the room. I'm just like, la di da 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 da. And I came back and it was positive. And when I say I lost my mind, I lost my mind quietly because I didn't want my husband to hear me losing my mind in there. Very emotional moment for me because I'm like, okay, is this for real? I need to take another one because is this for real? All the time that I've been trying and now I took that test. It was positive. I was super excited. The first person I told was my best friend because she basically told me that I was pregnant. She's like, take a test. I had a dream. Um, so I took a test and when I found that I was pregnant, I immediately texted her and told her how she was so magic. She was mythical a mythical creature who you know just in tune with spirits and whatnot because how did you know <laughs> and then actually one of my co-workers texted me like at that very moment she's not like she, she's actually like a friend not just a co-worker but she's one of my friends and she texted me and asked me for our schedule for her schedule for the week and i'm like i gotta tell i gotta tell her i gotta tell her so i take her a picture of it and then she lost her mind she was crying and i'm just like so happy just so happy because it's something that I've been praying for for years y'all years first I was praying that my husband would get on board with it because he just wasn't ready for the longest time then it was praying for it to happen when we both were ready when it finally happened I'm sorry I feel like I'm out of breath when when it finally happened I was just over 
joy, full of excitement, full of everything, full of all of the emotions. But yeah, and then I told my husband on his grandmother's birthday, he had like a reaction like, you sure this a prank? Cause he knows well. He likes to prank me, so he always think I got something on my sleeve when it comes to him. But, and for him, it didn't become real until he saw me getting bigger. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I got through my 12 weeks, my first trimester before I really share it with people just to make sure that it stuck. People who have had miscarriages, I know things happen, things happen with the, women, with the woman's body all the time and sometimes you just never know. I, I was so excited and I wanted to tell the world but I had to hold it in and the, the few people that knew I was okay with it. So it was my best friend, my sister, and my coworker. Those were the people I told all on the same day. My sister, I sent her a picture. She's the one, because when she was pregnant, she told me. So, and I had to hold that secret until she felt like she was ready to tell everybody. But, so I texted her and I told her and she lost her mind. We kind of coordinated how I was going to tell my family because I live in Florida and they all live in Mississippi now. Um, so I was like, long distance, how am I going to tell them? I want it to be meaningful. I want, I don't want to just send a text like, hey y'all, guess what? He knocked me up. <laughs> kind of came with a plan and I made this cute little onesie, took pictures of it because I was going to send them the pictures, but I wanted their real time reaction. So instead of that, I just FaceTimed them. I FaceTimed my sisters and my mom in a group chat. I told them that we were meeting because we need to discuss our family pictures that we were supposed to take in December, which it was true, but it's not really why I need to talk to them. So when I called them, we talked about the pictures. One of my sisters was in the bed, the other one was doing her hair, the other one was in the car. My mama walked away from the phone. But um, we talked about the pictures and then one of my sisters said, so this is really all you called us about because I am in the bed. And I was like, well, I did want to show y'all this too. And I flipped the camera to show my little picture and they all collectively lost their minds, except for my mom. My mom, well, one of my sisters said, who pregnant? And then everyone was like, what, what? What you mean, who pregnant? So they wanted to see what was on the screen. Meanwhile, they're losing their minds because they're like, oh my God, little Crease is pregnant. And my mom was like, what, what's going on, huh? Cause she got her AirPods in her ears and she walked away from the phone. So my sister's coming down the stairs like, why would you walk away from your phone? Anyways, we just stayed on the phone for a few hours just discussing everything. Um, and I felt so good to just finally get that out there because they know, especially my mom knows how long I wanted a baby. Um, and my sisters know I love the babies, I love the kids. Um, I FaceTimed my dad. And um, I didn't do a group FaceTime with him because it's not something that we normally do. It would have been suspicious. So I just told him, I said, hey dad, I texted him and I was like, what are you doing? I have a question about this plant that I have that is not growing. Can you look at it for me? So he's like, sure, give me five minutes. So I waited my five minutes or whatever and then I called him and we talked just a little bit, like what's going on, how was church, because it was a Sunday. And then he was like, so uh, what do you want to show me? And I just flipped the screen around and showed him my, pic my little thing that I set up. He's like, what? What? I have actually have their reactions on video, but I didn't know how to record their voices <laughs> through the FaceTime, so I actually missed that part. I don't have their voices, just their face reactions because I just couldn't. I don't I didn't know how to do that part. So that's what I got. But he was happy. He said, now I gotta live longer <laughs> because of why wouldn't he want to live for me and my brothers? I don't understand, but I guess since he got a grandchild on the way. Hmm. But yeah, those are the only people I told in my first trimester. And, I, and then I had to think about when I wanted to actually share the news. My husband was like, we should just go home on Thanksgiving and just let everybody see your belly. But the way my family set up, that would not have been a good look. They would have been upset. Um, so I was like, yeah, we can't do that. I, I really enjoyed it. I think it was a good time for me to kind of get used to the idea of becoming a mom. Because it's easier... I feel like thinking about the kids that you have, my nieces, my god kids, because they're not, they're not my babies. I didn't create them. Um, they're part of my heart for sure. But having something that's my own, it's an insane feeling like I created this. 
this is something that me and you did together that is wow and i think about that all the time and i just think that that's probably how they feel also like wow they look at their kids and they be like i made you <laughs> i made you from scratch like that's crazy my baby is due april 8th gonna be an aries like mama i needed to make sure that the baby was going to be healthy so I went and got my vitamins. My friend sent me some vitamins. So let's talk about my symptoms. I actually had symptoms, but I had no idea they were pregnancy symptoms. So I had I have acid reflux and sometimes I get nauseous. For one day I laid on the couch on my stomach and I was instantly nauseous. My husband was like, are you okay? And I was like, mm -mm. Okay, I feel like I gotta throw up. And so I sat up, I drank me a little Sprite, made some crackers and I was good. Um, but I just chalked it up to acid reflux. But then I was getting tired, I was exhausted, <clears throat> and I wasn't burning any calories, like at all. I was thinking that something was wrong with my heart, honestly, because I would check my watch, see how many calories I was burning, and literally I would burn like 78 calories a day. This is active calories. I was like distraught about this. I was like, what the? Why, why is my calorie count so low? Because even when I'm not doing much, I'm burning at least 300 active calories a day. My goal is like 450, but 300 is generally what I'm burning every day. So to be at like 78 at the end of the day, it wasn't sitting well with me. After I found out I was pregnant, the nausea really became a thing. I didn't throw up too many times. There were a couple times that I couldn't hold it but I, I didn't throw up too many times triggered and it was usually triggered by smells like clean up my dog's poop in the morning oh gag and it's been a pretty good experience so far and in the next video I will cover my second trimester so stay tuned